PJ Soulmates, hello or welcome or welcome back again to the channel. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to make this really cute and simple skirt. It's a short mini stretch skirt with shorts underneath it. And it has it's a PDF pattern that you could always download in the description box from different platforms. And it comes with an instruction manual, a general information and different formats for you to download this on. And I love this because it has a side zip, it has a short underneath so you don't have to be worried about exposing and it's a mini length. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So we're going to start off by creating the dart for the front and the back skirt pieces. So as indicated in the pattern, you're going to create notches for the dart and you're going to fold your your fabric into two like so you pin it down and go ahead to iron it as well if you so choose to and after doing that you go ahead to mark from the waistline to the dart point so for this pattern right here it's going to be six inches and it's always going to vary depending on your size as well so for reference i'm using i'm using a size eight for my waist and a size 10 for my hip um, so I pretty much graded between sizes so after doing that for the back bodies or for the back skirt piece you're going to repeat the same step for the front skirt piece okay and that is aligning the notches for the darts pinning it down folding it ironing knees marking the dart points so after doing that the next step is just for you to go ahead to sew from the waistline to the dart points So we're going to repeat the same step to the shorts. So for this, you're also going to mark this at the wrong on the wrong side of the short pieces. So just like the skirt pieces, there are going to be notches um, on the waist seam or rather the waistline, and you're going to pin your fabric into two, having the right sides facing each other, and you're going to fold it like so. You go ahead to iron it if you so choose to. Then you mark from the waistline to the dart point, and you sew as well. And when you get to the dart point, you could either backstitch or you could pull it out and create knots. So I am also repeating the same step to the front short pieces. So now that that is done, you're going to go ahead to iron the dots and after doing that, you're going to place the back short um, fabric together, having right sides facing each other. You're going to pin the center back pieces, then you're going to sew from the waistline to the crotch area. You will want to repeat the same step um, to the front short pieces as well. So that is pinning the center front um, pieces, having the right side of the short pieces together and you're going to sew from the waistline to the crotch. So now that that is done, you're going to insert your zip to the side of one side of your fabric just for reference but this was also indicated in the pattern so if you want your side zip to be on the right side of your fabric you're going to have the right side of your skirt pieces facing upwards but if you want it to be on the left side, you're going to have it facing downwards. I hope that makes sense. Um, but either way, it really doesn't matter, okay? So after you're done basting um, the zip to one side, you're going to repeat the same step to the other side of the skirt piece as well. So you're just going to place the two fabrics um, facing each other like so, having right sides facing each other, then you um, place your zip to the side seam. I always prefer basting rather than pinning because it prevents the fabric of the zip from moving when I sew. So 
So now that you've basted it, you'll go ahead to sew the zip to the skirt pieces on that side. So now that the zip has been sewn to the skirt piece, this is what you'll have. So the next step is to sew, close up the remaining space from where the zip stops to the hem of the skirt. And I'm just going to pin it first then sew. And after pinning that side, you go ahead to pin the other side from the waistline to the hem of the skirt and sew that down as well. So now you'd want to attach the shorts to the skirt pieces. So what I'm going to do right now is to make sure that I sew from where um, the, sh the zip ends to the hem and I'm going to sew the other side down. Now for the crotch, you're going to pin them having right sides facing each other and I'm going to sew it down as well. The reason why you're only sewing um, one side from like where the zip ends to the hem is because you're going to um, sew the zip to that open area, okay? Okay, so now that you're done with that, the next step is to hem the shorts and you're going to fold it twice using a half an inch on each fold and hem it. So what I like to do is I like to fold the side, the seams or the side seams first before pinning the rest down. So now it's time to sew the shorts and the skirt pieces together. So what you want to do is to have the wrong side of your shorts facing the right side of your skirts, making sure that you're pinning the right, the front pieces of the shorts and the skirts together. You would want to make a mistake by pinning the um, back piece of the shorts or the um, front piece of the skirts you wouldn't want that okay so I'll repeat that again you want to make sure that the wrong side of your shorts is facing the right side of your skirt piece okay then you pin the waist seam or the waistline like so So after pinning the waist seam, you also go ahead to pin the shorts to the zip area like so. Then go ahead to sew from the zip area all the way around the waistline and get back to the other side of the zip area. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to just show you what I mean in the video okay so as my finger is going to show you right now you sew all the way from there like so the waistline then go ahead to sew again
okay so now that that is done this is what you will have so now it's time to turn these right sides out So this is what you'll have after you've turned this right side out and the next step is to go ahead to understitch the shorts to the same allowance. Doing it this way will pre prevent the shorts from peeking out when you wear this, especially if you are using two different colors for your shorts and your skirt pieces. So after doing that, the next step is to just hem the skirt and that's you're going to do that by folding it first using a half an inch, then fold it again using one inch and that is pretty much it for this skirt right here and your entire project is done, okay? So this is the final result and like I said, if you're interested in getting the pattern, the link is always in the description box. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.